MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm at Micron Precision in Kimbolton in Cambridgeshire. I'm here on behalf of the Engineering Technology Group. I'm going to talk to John. They've just recently purchased one of the new Nakamura AS200s, which is one of the new models added to the range. And we're going to find out how they've got on with the machine since it's been installed. Afternoon, John. Hi, Paul. How are you doing with the uh, AS200? Yeah, fantastically. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and, and why did you buy the machine? Uh, basically, it's increased what we can do. Um, we had a lathe before, CNC lathe before, but no milling capabilities. A lot of the jobs we do end up having to turn and then go on to the mill. Obviously, it eliminates the operations on the mill. Okay, and this machine has got the y-axis as well, but it's, 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 it's quite, quite a diddy machine, isn't it, with a y-axis? Did you look at other machines that were available with y or...? We did, we looked at two or three, but we, just, we decided the Nakamura was the best one for us, for what we wanted. And, uh... Because the Nakamura name as a brand is synonymous with, with quality. Was that a, a factor in your decision at all? Yeah, that was a big, a big thing for us, um, knowing the reputation that Nakamura's are. You know. And how long has it been in? Uh, it's been in about six weeks now. Okay, and let's have a look at some of the parts that you're actually doing. Uh, I know some of them are fairly straightforward, but this one particular here is actually out of EN 24T, so it's quite a, a hard material. You're, you're turning, drilling, tapping. Talk us through it. Yep, we're, we're, we're turning them out of, out of billets. Um, we're, we're milling the slots. Uh, there's a couple of reamed holes, drilling and tapping. No problem at all. And, and if, how would you have done this before? You'd have had to have done it on your turning centre, then move it across to the mill. Exactly. So. With that being the case, is there a quantifiable sort of cycle time saving at all or a percentage? There is. There's a massive saving. I mean, percentage-wise, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it, there's a massive saving because you've got no setup on the mill whatsoever. And you've got a bar feed with the machine. It looks like, I know you're pretty tight for space here, like most engineers, but you've, you've, you've squeezed it in. The bar feed, is that going to help you with production? It is, yeah. I mean, we did have a bar feed on the old days, so a bar feed was a must for, for the majority of the small parts we do. You, we definitely need a bar feed. And now you've got the driven tools as well, so you can do milling, you can do turning, and uh, have you got any other lathes here, or is this now one going to cater for everything? No, this is the one that's going to cater for everything. Okay, brilliant. John, thank you. So there you have it. It's the AS200 from the Engineering Technology Group. It's obviously served a real purpose here at, at Micron Precision. If you're interested in this machine, you can see it on mtdcnc.com or visit ETG Direct. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.